Do you want a chance to win a Tapu Lele GX? Me too, because I love this card. All you have to do is go in the description, subscribe, and click the link for the Gleam.io and enter the giveaway. You get more entries if you subscribe to my main channel and also follow my Twitter. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Pokemon TCGO. Yesterday, I missed a video, not on purpose. By no means was that on purpose. I actually recorded the video and it was a 57 minute long video and I rendered it out and then I deleted all the files because I needed hardware, a hard drive space and without even realizing it, I, the, the, the render got messed up so when the render got messed up, I wasn't able to actually upload it it was only like 30 minutes long and then it just cuts out abruptly so I wasn't able to, I didn't, well I could have uploaded the 30 minutes but that's just weird and I'd rather not upload those 30 minutes I'd rather just not upload so, what we have here is not the deck that I used yesterday. Yesterday I used Passimian and I don't think I've ever been more frustrated before in my life. And I would never want to put me through that again. We used Passimian, we used Des Jesper Erickson's deck um, that he took to internationals. And never again am I playing that deck. I refuse to. It's not my deck. This is Alolan Ninetales. I love this deck. Someone stop it. Stop texting me. This is still one of my favorite decks to this day. Now, I feel like it's getting better and better better as it goes on seeing more and more progress with it and I I, I want to play with it well today I really do Alola Ninetales as you know the prettiest card full art is way better than the secret rare in my opinion it's so gorgeous I love it she's beautiful with the addition of Tapu Koko I feel like it made it a lot better because Tapu Koko you could slap a DCE on and just do 20 to everything which also helps to hit numbers so for instance Blizzard Edge has 160 if it already has 20 damage on it it's doing 180, which is enough to drop, knock, knock out very common GXs and EXs at 180. Add a Choice Band on it, and a Kakui, it's doing 210, which is knocking out most Stage 1 Pokemon that are played right now. Like Alolan Ninetales, it's knocking out Espeon, it's knocking out Umbreon. I know there's more that I just can't think of that I'm struggling to. It struggles against Metagross, which was the biggest issue with Alolan Ninetales. I'm not seeing too much Metagross anymore. I have, I've seen Metagross played once in an actual IRL tournament, so I'm not too afraid of it. It is pretty much an auto loss to Metagross though, unfortunately, which sucks. It does suck a lot because you can't one shot it. The only thing you can hope to do, I guess, is outspeed it. But that happens very rarely. Malo, I think is my favorite card to this deck. Now the thing behind Malo that I really like is the idea of putting so I'm, I'm going to have two Octillery on the bench as it is. So I'm able to draw two from it. Let's say I have three cards in my hand or two. Let's say I have four cards in my head. Malo being one of them. I use Malo. I put the two cards that I want on the top of it. Which I like to think would be Aqua Patch and Escape Rope. So that I can then Octillery grab those two cards. Escape Rope, Aqua Patch, Escape Rope out to uh, Tapu Koko promo. Free Retreat cost. Aqua Patch onto the Ninetales and then retreat top and cook up and bring back up. I don't know. I love that idea. I love the gimmicky kind of idea with that. I think it does actually work well. Very rarely is that ever needed, but I like the idea of being able to do it. And Malo adds a lot of consistency to this deck too. I think like most decks with um uh with Octillery should be running Malo. Not necessarily have to, but I feel like it would benefit them a lot. Not so much if you're using uh, a Ranguru. A Ranguru doesn't need Malo. Uh, you shouldn't use Malo and a Ranguru. You should be hoping to hit N off a Ranguru or something like that. I'm also shuffling again. I apologize. Um, but we did start off with the Lolan Vulpix. That's the other thing I love about this deck is having a Lolan Vulpix in use. And I can Ultra Ball. I can Ultra Ball away these two guys and get them in the discard piles for Aqua Patches later on. And we're going up against Xerneas. Probably a Xerneas break, I'm guessing. Maybe Gardevoir? I'm, my guess here is going to be Bridget or an N. If it's Gardevoir, you're not grabbing Bridget. Yeah, okay. If it was a straight up Xerneas break, you would grab Bridget and then you would try smacking down as many Xerneases as you possibly can. But that kind of sucks that we weren't able to use the Ultra Ball to grab Lele. I would have Ultra Ball to grab Lele, get rid of those two energy, hoping to... We could grab another Vulpix though. Um, hoping in the future to be able to grab a... Oh my god, the amount of energy here. I'm gonna do that. I want to. I'm doing it. I don't really like getting rid of those energies, but I feel like I kind of have to at this point. We need to grab Octil or Remoraid, which is good. We're going to not Aqua Patch yet, just in. Uh, we're gonna. She's not gonna be able to knock me out. 
he needs to hit a max elixir and a fairy energy and a Xerneas break. I I call shenanigans if you do hit that. We're just gonna straight up beacon. We're going to grab Octillery and Alolan Ninetales. We do have one Alolan Ninetales prized. We'd get to get rid of one. But the other one we have four in this deck, so one is prized, two one is still in the deck, one is in my head, one is prized, one is in the deck, and one is in the discard pile. That's where they all are. Okay, so Link, what are you doing? Oh you got your ball stuck. Oh no. Oh no. Link, go get it. My neighbor's gonna hate how loud that was. Did he end? Crap, he did end. You little jerk. I wanted the artillery. Give me artillery. Dang it. You did give me an aqua patch though. Which isn't bad at this point. He's getting set up, but I think I should be fine. Um, does Choice Band do much here? No. Not much at all, honestly. Mmm, okay. We are going to Ultra Ball away the Choice Band and Ultra Ball. And we are going to grab Octillery. Mmm, I want to use this Aqua Patch before it goes. We're going to use Octillery now, and then we'll probably Sycamore, or use Topical Lele to grab Sycamore or something. Another Aqua Patch. Okay. Good. I have to end. Do I have a... I don't think I play Olympia in here. I could have mollowed an Octillery there. I didn't do it. I totally messed that up. I had the perfect opportunity to Molo Octillery. I had it in my hands, but I didn't do it. Oh, I hate myself right now. Uh, okay, we didn't hit anything that I particularly needed. I do want to bench you. And I... Mm, I'm debating on whether I want to Super Rod right now or not, but I don't think I do. I don't think it's necessary. The thing is, I'm giving him more turns to Geomancy and get set up, which sucks, but it's not the end of the world. I'm just going to beacon here and grab Octillery. I need more bench space. Um, I should have prioritized the Tapu Koko over the other Remoraid, I guess, but I didn't. Tapu Koko isn't going to be too important because I am hitting numbers here because Xerneas Break has 150, so I don't have to be over crazy about... Um, getting Coco set up or anything like that. I just have to make sure that I have an Alolan Ninetales on at all times. And if he does want to knock out my Alolan Vulpix here, I'm actually completely fine with that. Um, because that clears up bench space and if I... And it makes it a 7 prize game because he'll have to knock out two ni or 3 Ninetales if he has to go out that route. And I could just keep knocking him out. Because this Tapu Lele, I might end up prioritizing. If I could knock out this Lele, I will be very happy. Because that gets rid of an experience share. And two prize cards. And two energies already down. So if I can, I don't know if I'll be able to right now. I'll be able to knock out this guy. But that's only one energy. And that's going right back to that Tapu Lele. I need to get that Lele down. I want to hit a Vulpix right here. Or an N or something. Uh, Ultra Ball does help. I'm going to play that down. I'm going to get rid of these two, and I'm going to grab a, yeah, Alolan Vulpix, and I want to Aqua Patch that Alolan Vulpix, so I'm getting the second one set up right now. And then I want to attach to you, and now I want to Abyssal Hand. I love how fast this deck goes through stuff. It's just really nice and just smooth. Um, I am going to Rescue Stretcher, but not put it into my hand, because I'm about to Sycamore. And I want to evolve this Vulpix. So I don't want... Yeah, okay. I don't want to knock out another... Yeah, I, I think I know what I'm saying, but I don't really know at the same time. Okay, I feel confident with this right now. I'm going to retreat you out into you. I wish I was able to Lysander and grab you, but I'm not. I wish I was able to grab a lot of things right now, but I'm not. How much is Xerneas Break doing right now? He's going to get that back on them, so... Okay, stop it. Xerneas breaks is 20 times the amount of energy. So any energy, he doesn't have any DCEs or anything. Um, but 40, 100, 140. Which, if he did attach another one... I think we're fine. 
It's doing 160, but then I could just Ice Path GX all the damage back to him. And I don't think that works with Experience Share. Um, because I'm just placing damage counters, and it's not, like, direct uh, damage. And that's fine. I, I didn't actually have an energy in my hand. Because right now he's doing 190, I think. He needed a Kakui to knock me out, I believe. Or a Max Elixir. If he hits a Max Elixir, I'm in trouble. You've used so many energies. You, you've so many energies. Yes! Yes! Okay. Okay, now I feel a lot better. If I could hit a... If I could hit a Fuel Blower on this turn, which I'm actually going to do with Malo right now... I just hope it's not prize. I haven't checked a Fuel Blower's prize. I want to make sure I get rid of those experience shares so he can't just keep stocking energy down. That's important. Ever since Fuel Blower came out, I don't think Xerneas Break has been that good. Most decks run two Fuel Blowers. This one only runs one, which sucks a little bit, but it's not that big of a deal in my opinion. Um, I do want to also grab... What is it called? I want to grab a... Alolan Ninetales. Stop it. Stop it. I, I, someone's messaging me right now. I don't want to be texted right now. I'm also uploading, so I am lagging a tiny bit. Did I say texting or uploading? I am uploading right now. Did he Geomancy? That was the safe play, and I kind of like his decision if he did that. He did it. Is he only... He's, okay, he got two down. I was about to say, is he only going to be able to get one down? Um... I could also try digging... Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Um... We can Malo here and see if we have a Float Stone. If I were to do it right now... Well, I think I just want to... Uh... Okay think if i float stone or if i escape rope what does he bring up one of those anything i knock out's more okay how much is he doing right now i have to grab the field blower i have to grab the field blower yeah just malo grab field blower it's prized or i've used it have i used it no it's prized dang it I, i'm almost positive i have one in there um, mm. Alola Ninetales and Lysander for next turn. Dang it. Okay, that sucks. That field blower is prized. We'll grab you. And evolve you. And Abyssal Hand for the Lysander. So we'll have that next turn. And if I want to, I can Sycamore next turn and just get rid of it and put it in the discard pile. I think my main Alolan Ninetales is going to get knocked out here, if I'm doing the math correct. Uh, which sucks, because I wasn't even able to get an energy down that turn. Um, yeah, let's get rid of you. Done. But I will have the Escape Rope, so that if I hit the Aqua Patch... How much is he doing? Give me the Fuel Blower. Dang it. Okay, 80, 140, 200. That's not enough to knock out right now. But all he has to do is hit one more fairy energy. But he has gone through a ton of fairy... Oh, it's always bad. Um, Hex Maniac. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I can't wait to knock you out. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. I think Vulpix I'm just going to sacrifice right now. That kind of sucks on how I hit that. Uh, let's escape rope. Because <laughs> now I want this Vulpix back here. What does he want to bring up? What do you want to bring up? I can't do much to him right now. I just want to sacrifice him now that I drew into that. Did I do that on purpose? I don't even remember. I'm just going to stick him more here. I need to try and hit some energy. I need energy and aqua patches. Okay, Aqua Patch. You. Um. Do. Does he have Lysanders in here? No. So we would have to grab the Lysander on the draw or those three. I don't think he's going to be able to do that. How many Aqua Patches have I gone through? Three? 
Yeah, three. So let's super rod, get the energies back in there. I don't need that alone, nine tails. I want the energies over that. We're gonna attach to you, and we're going to hope. I'm just gonna beacon to thin out my deck. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm going through my deck really quickly. It's just, I think I got, even if I didn't prize the um, field blower, I still feel like I've been in trouble because he had a good hand other than that. Wow. Okay, that's game. Oh, that sucks. He, he got three cards and one of them had to be the Lysander. The Lysander was my only chance of coming... Or not the Lysander. The Alola Ninetales was the only chance I really had of coming back in that game. And that sucks. Let's get rid of that. God dang it. Mm, I don't need to Ultra Ball here. I'm going to place you down. He needs two prize cards. Okay, let's N. Get him down a bunch. I don't want to Molo here. I just want to N. I need to hit some stuff off of the N, which I think I only have one Aqua Patch. Okay, that's not bad, at least. Link, stop digging. No digging. I see you. Um... I can't have him get knocked out right now. I just need to do that. And I need to abyssal hand and hope that I hit something. <sighs> okay. Um, Ultra Ball. Get rid of you two. I need to hit the Aqua Patch. There's that Aqua Patch. And then I need to end next turn with the VS Seeker. Okay. Which ending me won't be too helpful, actually. I think I just lose. Because I'll end myself to four cards. Yeah, no, I lose. I did the math incorrect. All right, that was a bad game. We are jumping into this game. I did not see the guy's deck. Uh, the reason I was actually uh, clearing hard drive space, so I totally missed what was happening. Um, we're going up against Gengar 101. I, that's my coin, so he's, he doesn't necessarily have a water deck. I see a sun and moon... Nothing special. Yeah, nothing special. He has the world's uh, sleeves on, so he might be an experienced player. We just start off with a lone Vulpix, which is exactly what we want. Last game just wasn't that hot for me. He does have... Oh, boy. Are we going up against the infamous um, Garboder, SP, uh, Garboder Evolutions deck? Is that what I'm expecting? Or possibly a Vespaquin Evolutions deck? I don't know what to quite expect. My, my money's on the Garbodor. Garboder, whatever, it's, however it's pronounced. Um, deck, a little nine tails. Oh no, it's a. It's a Zoroark deck, but if you use Zoroark Break, the evolutions don't count because that's a technically a stage two. So interesting. I'm assuming Tapu Lele here to grab Bridget. I think that's what he wants to start off with, obviously, and hopefully. I think what I want to get down right now, I think I want to bridge it myself. Although, I'll probably get knocked out by a Zoroark uh, second turn um, with my Vulpix. But that's not the end of the world as long as I get to use Beacon once. And A, I either get the, the evolutions or I force him to end me. Okay, Tapu Lele. Am I expecting to see a... I'm either going to see an N or a Bridget here. He might be afraid of my seven cards and he might be drawn into a dud. Or he's going to Bridget. Yep. Bridget is the play that you would like to make. But if you have to, like if you got no other cards, like no ends or Sycamores in your hand, you may have to draw into an N or Sycamore there. Link is playing with his bed underneath me. He likes eating his bed because he's weird. Alright, Bridget, I'm expecting a Drampa. No Drampa. Am I going to see Umbreon? Because he sees my deck. It starts off with a little... Well, maybe he doesn't know what my deck is. Maybe he thinks my deck is a uh, Metagross deck. So maybe he brought out the Eevee in order to get out a... Nope. Okay, it's definitely going to be Darkrai. I don't think I'm going to see Espeon. I don't think he'd run a, a Zoroark Espeon deck. Oh, he wanted to instruct as well. Okay. Maybe that was a safe play to grab the Bridget to grab that as well. Um, we're going to Ultra Ball here. We are going to... Get rid of Rescue Stretcher and Water Energy. 
and we are going to grab a Remoraid and get that down. So hopefully we'll be able to evolve him next turn. We're going to Kakui as well. Oh, I wish I hit that Bridget. The reason why I didn't Bridget that turn was because I was like, Tapu Lele will take up a bit of space. And then also I don't want Zoroark knocking me out. So like right now I feel comfortable with Zoroark is not going to knock me out unless he Kakui's as well. Um, I want Vulpix. Link, stop eating my foot. I'm going to grab a Lolan Vulpix and Tapu Koko. I think right now that's a good choice. I want to get Tapu Koko on the bench. I just like having him on the bench. I feel safe with it. And if I'm able to get like 20 all around, that would be greatly appreciated. Because especially getting it on that Tapu Lele and that potential Umbreon, I think would be important. Especially because he used the DC on it already. Okay, but the... So he's not planning on attacking with that. He's planning on Shadow Bulleting Shadow bulletin me. It looks like... Oh. He might not have the Darkness Energy. Or he might not have a supporter. Odds are he has a supporter in his hand. Odds might be in my fa Our Odds are double colorless to do 60. Or 40, I mean. Okay. Alright. I'm fine with that. Um, Vulpix. Octillery. Let's get that down. Do I want... I'm going to Field Blower and get rid of Choice Band and Float Stone. Um, Bridget's not going to be that important right now. I do want to play this. I want to do that. I'm going to Octillery and see if we can hit anything. Sycamore is a good option here. Yeah, I think it's a better option than Bridgeting. Let's keep up. Let me get a Vol... Okay, there we go. I was going to say a Volvin Vulpix. A Lolan Vulpix. And we will attach to him... And Ice Blade, important damage onto Umbreon. Because now he's a one-shot for Blizzard Edge, which is very, very good. And what I could have done there... Next turn, I can try and hit an Aqua Patch. And I can Escape Rope out into Tapu Koko. Attach to Alolan Ninetales. Okay, he's going... Oh, he is going in. Okay, stand in. I'm a little scared right now. I think that's doing... I mean, as well, if he does hit my Alolan Ninetales here, I could just Ice Path. So let's say he does 90 to Alolan Ninetales. We're up to 130. That's not enough for a knockout, unfortunately. I should have left the Choice Band on him. I didn't even consider that. I should have left the Choice Band on him because then he wouldn't have touched my Alolan Ninetales. Oh, no, he did that. That's doing 80. So 120. What are you doing? What are you making weird noises for? Um, let's evolve him. Let's see what he does if I escape rope. I also like seeing what they decide to do. Because right now I could ice path anything and do a lot of damage to them. Or I could try and hit... So if he brings up Umbreon, I can't Ice Path onto him, but I could knock him out with a Blizzard's Edge if I Sycamore here and try to... I'm not going to end him. There's no way I'm ending him. He's got two cards in his hand, and he's he's been not using, like, any supporters at all. Okay, he's just straight up going with the Oranguru. That's not bad for me. Um, I don't want to... I don't want Octillery here. I want to save some cards. Wow, okay. Um, I'm just going to... This is going to be weird, but I'm going to Aqua Patch him, and I'm just going to Ice Path. I'm going to Ice Path, get rid of this 120 damage, and just put it on this uh, Oranguru for knockout. I mean, he's been drawing into nothing, so why not just get rid of all the damage that he's done to me so far? Also, his Zoroark with Mind Jack is doing 130, and I'm not too afraid of that. But I do want to get more damage. I want to hit a Lysander. Have I gotten in the... No, I haven't hit the single one yet. I run two in this deck, so I do need to hit it eventually and be able to... I want to take a cheap knockout on that Umbreon. If I could take out the DC and Darkness Energy, that would be important. He's already got one in there. I got rid of his Oranguru, which he... 90% of these decks only run one. And now he might struggle for drawing. Let's see. Did he draw into anything good? He would have used an Enter or Sycamore last turn. Did he draw into a Zorak Break? A VS Seeker, okay. Huh, I guess he's going to try hitting the Zoroark Break and then going to try Blizzard Edging me. 
Um, because that's that's what you. He's gonna bridge at me. Oh, I didn't even. Wow. Okay, I'm scared. <laughs> Heaven help us. Heaven help us. He's gonna bridge it and probably grab a Azorua, or he's not going to at all. Oh. Okay. That's fine. That was completely fine with me. We retreat. We attach. We do that because why not? We do that. We Ultra Ball and get rid of those two. And we grab a little Nine Tails. I love this. I like this a lot. And now we Actillery. I didn't want to Sycamore there. I have no reason to need to Sycamore there. I did hit the DCE. I don't need this Vulpix. I'm just going to Blizzard Edge and knock out this Umbreon. And that's going to take care of so many of his energies. He is, he is doing a good job with my energies, though. I'm going through them fairly fast, so I have to be careful. And I have one Aqua Patch remaining. Hi, buddy. Yeah, but he was drawing dead, so I think I had the, a huge advantage during that entire game. Okay, it is a normal Psychic, Dark, and Electric deck. This might be... I have no idea. I feel like I'm going to see it and be like, oh, that makes sense. The Electric Pokemon might be Tapu Koko promo. It could be another Zoroark deck with it in there. Um, Batista 1990. Unfortunately, we started off with the our least favorite Pokemon we'd like to start off with, which is Tapu Lele. Yeah, by far our least... Ah, uh, Remoraid might be our least favorite. No. With Remoraid, it's the same retreat cost. I don't plan on attacking with either one of these. Yeah, I don't plan on attacking with either one of these. So yeah, I would have preferred Remoraid just to get a Floatstone on... Or the chance of getting a Floatstone on him. Because I want Remoraid actually in play. I don't want Tapu Lele in play. <laughs> God dang it. Okay, so it looks like it's probably going to be a Zoroark Drampa deck with the Tapu Lele. And, um... Uh, the, the, the Tapu Koko promo. That's what I'm assuming the Tapus. Uh, Ultra Ball, he got rid of a special charge. Ooh. Huh, if I could knock off some of his, Well, he's going to probably be running Team Magma's base. Probably... Um... Rainbow Energies. So I, I would love to get rid of his DCEs early. And that would just require me taking cheap knockouts. And I think that's what I need to focus on. I, I need goodies right now. And luckily I drew into Malo. I, I also drew into an Ultra Ball. Which is actually really, really good. Because I should be able to... Um, Ultra Ball and get rid of Malo and Sycamore. Grab... Oh, I can't grab Tapu Lele. God dang it. I can't... Oh, that sucks. Okay. I think the plan here is to Ultra Ball away these two. God dang it. Uh, Sycamore and Malo, because I know that he's going to have a support in his hand. Like I said, you don't Tapu Lele for Bridget unless you have something in your hand. Okay, he's focusing on that Trampa first. That's interesting. Um, did not expect that. Okay, so Ultra Ball, get rid of those two. We're going to grab... Full picks. We have one Nine Tails prized again. Um, nothing too. One N. No, I have N in my. No. Maybe it looks like one, one or two, uh, water energies. I think two. Uh, let's throw up Rough Seas just to thin out our deck a little bit, because I don't think he's gonna have that many. Oh, thank God. I was about to be super sad if I didn't hit a uh, water energy or just any energy in general. Well, on Full Picks, you. Attach, retreat, and the sucky thing is... <sighs> we're gonna Ultra Ball, and because I have a dead hand, I'm... Oh, wow, okay, I have a 1-1 Remoraid Octillery prized. Unless I'm running a different deck. I don't think I changed my deck. I'm almost positive I didn't. We're gonna do that, and we're gonna Beacon and make sure we grab Octillery and Ninetales. Really, really weird there, but that's what I have to do in order to make sure I don't have a dead hand next turn. The reason why I had the Ultra Ball there to grab Remoraid is because I want to evolve him into Octillery this turn. And if he does, dis the, the worst thing that could happen right now is if he delinquents me. But if he ends me here, that's that's that would be great. I'd be completely fine with that because I'd draw into a brand new hand. But the high possibility of hitting Nine Tails and a mediocre chance of hitting Octillery. But I'd still have enough cards in my hand where I'm able to do stuff. Right now, I just want to make sure that I'm able to do stuff. I think what I might end up doing is I want to leave that Vulpix up there. 
because there's no point in not leaving him up there. I mean, like, um, I want to focus on my bench priority first, so I'm going to try and just allow him to get knocked out. I'll build up this uh, alone Vulpix. Hopefully get a DCE on uh, this Tapu Koko and get my Actillery set up. As long as he doesn't end me here. I'd rather him not end me, but if he does, it's not the end of the world. It's actually beneficial for me, too. Uh, okay, that's fine. It could be beneficial is the correct way of saying that. Because I could very well draw into these two Pokemon and then have a new hand and then also be able to Actillery later. Ideally, what I would like to draw into is another Alolan Vulpix to get that on the bench. That would be great. Um, I think he's... He might be struggling a little bit for energy. He's going to Tapu Lele here, probably for a Sycamore. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? Maybe even an N because he knows what's in my hand. And maybe he doesn't want to get... So the way I would think of it, if he's choosing between an N and a Sycamore, right now, or even a Hex, he might grab a Hex. No, he grabs an N. Is if, if I had something good in my hand right now, I would N. If I didn't, if I was like okay with getting rid of them, I would Sycamore. So in my opinion, he had some, or my mind, he had something good in there that he didn't want to get rid of. We did draw into one of them and we hit the Ultra Ball. So like I said, I wasn't really that afraid of hitting, uh, getting N. The sucky thing is now, I somehow did not manage to draw into a supporter, but, 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 I still can grab Octillery, so I'm not in a dead hand by any means. Um, I'm going to evolve this ball. Ooh, he prioritized that. He's going to go for the knockout. Okay. If I get lucky here, I could very well... I could, I could honestly get a uh, Blizzard Edge off this turn. I'm going to bring Dipo up free retreat cost. Okay. Okay. We're going to grab Octillery. That hand could not have been much better for me. That could not have been much better for me. We're going to Aqua Patch. We're going to Aqua Patch. And I'm not going to use that energy yet because I want to hit a DCE. <laughs> Pro plays, am I right? Um, I'm going to straight up end him. There's no reason not to. He's going to draw into five. I don't want this hand. This hand kind of sucks, although I do. I could have mollowed there, but I don't think it's necessary. Um, I didn't draw into much. I don't need that escape rope. I think the choice bands are more important here. I'm going to grab the Vulpix, so if this guy does somehow go down this turn, which I don't think is possible, um, we'll be fine. Or at least I could have a chance to build him back up. I don't want to... Uh, I want to attach one right now. Just one. Blizzard Edge for knockout. And if he does do, like, uh, Berserk on me that does a ton of damage uh, somehow, like, let's say he gets down a Team Magma's base and then another bench Pokemon, uh, gets 20 on that, and then gets a DCE, attaches it to Drampa, and does 180 max on me, or even 200 max, then I just Ice Path it back onto him. Which, my guess right now is he's planning on just t attaching a DCE and getting some damage, some chip damage onto my Alolan Ninetales here. Because right now, oh, I can knock him out. Ooh. All right, I need to let Link out for a second. But I can knock him out because I have Toy Spin on me and I have a Water Energy on me. So I would be able to Blizzard Edge him here, but I don't think, I, that's not how I want it to go down. I want him to, honestly, I want him to use a field blower right now and just get rid of uh, that stuff. And I also do have a rough season in play. So that math might end up being in my favor a little bit. Um, if he does like 80 to me, if he gets the DC, that's another DCE he's used too because he's already used one. Yeah. So that'd be his second. And the max is running four. And he's used a special charge, which I'm assuming he only runs one. I don't think he'd run more than that. Um, my Zoro deck doesn't even run one. Sometimes. Sometimes I choose to do it if I'm struggling. But most of the time, it's better to not have any. Link! No barking. Um, sometimes, most of the time, in my opinion, it's better not to run any. Because if you lose a Drampa that, with it on, that's one, and that's two prize cards. A lot of times, you're attacking with Zoroark Break, which is just either a Rainbow Energy or Darkness Energy, so it's not necessary. A lot of times, it's just a dead card that you don't want to use, or you just have, and you want to save for later. So you decide to end over it. I My opinion is... A t use like a darkness energy or like use a dark energy over the special charge in replacement in the deck <laughs> that's what I like doing he got the Kakui 
Um, I realize that he has Zoric Break now, but he's not knocking me out with it. Unless he has a Darkness Energy on him, the Kakui, and a uh, Choice Band, which he can't get the Choice Band on because he already has the Float Stone on, unless he feel blows his own Float Stone away, which he might. I don't know. I've done that before. <laughs> I've gotten rid of a... Uh, so I was playing as uh, I'll talk about it a different time. I think I recorded it, but I ended up deleting it. I got rid of a choice band on my Zorark break because it already had a DCE on him, and I wanted to use Foul Play, and I was going up against Espeon, and he already had 10 damage on him. And if I left the DCE on the Zorark break, Espeon was doing enough to knock me out. So I had a Darkness Energy and a DCE on him, so I flo uh, Field Blower away my Float Stone so I could retreat... And then rush back in and get rid of the DC and only have one energy on me. So his, um, his, whatchamacallit, uh, his Espeon's only doing 70 instead of 130, which does make a big difference. All right, we got the Kikui. <laughs> oh, the Kikui doesn't even matter. Um, I'm going to attach to you. I'm going to Abyssal Hand because I want to hit a DCE. I hit the Aqua Patch. That works too. I'm gonna do that and just end. I don't want to risk not. I'm gonna draw into a DCE. Yep, I knew it. I knew it was about to happen too. I just had that feeling. But I did draw into an Aqua Patch. So next turn, if I draw into another Aqua Patch, which I do have one remaining, I don't like relying on that. But right now, it feels like I have to. We're gonna take the prize lead, and knocking out that Drampa is gonna be a little important. So I want to make sure I get rid of him. And if he does any damage to me, I can't. I still have Ice Path in play. Having that Ice Path not used yet is majorly important. I thought he was going to Righteous Edge me last turn and just do 20, possibly 50, but I do have Rough Sea still just sitting there. <sighs> so he still can't one-shot me, which I want to keep it like that if I can. Because he's got the Float Stone on him. So he has to make a major, amazing play in order to do that. Or he needs a choice band. No, he's not going to be able to choice band. He needs to do something absolutely insane. Which right now, I don't think I'm scared of him doing anything insane. I could even just start slowly picking off Pokemon in the back with uh, Ice Blade if I really want to. Because if this... Okay, he's got Zoroark up. I one-shot um, all Zoroark. Zoroark break and above. Uh, with 160. Huh. Have I gotten rid of Escape Rope yet? Yeah, I did. Okay. He's going to get rid of those two, I'm assuming? Yeah, I was going to say it'd be weird if he got rid of Rough Seas, because that 30 damage probably won't end up mattering, unless he does something really weird. Okay, Sycamore. He should be hitting a DCE or a Darkness Energy. He definitely wants to place a Darkness Energy over a DCE. Not just because of damage sake, but because he wants to keep the DCEs for his Grandpa and possible Zoroark in the future. Um, let's see, what has he gotten rid of? Just 1-1. One, one. So yeah, if he has a Rainbow Energy or a Darkness Energy, he wants to keep it on Zorark. And he doesn't want to attach a DCE to Drampa right now. Yeah, okay. Um, attach it to Drampa right now, because if he decides to Berserk me, it's, he's doing 80 and I could just Ice Path that all back to him. And just not care. <laughs> about what he does. Uh. Yeah, okay. We're in a weird situation right now. How many VS Seekers have I gone through? Just one. Okay, so Kakui's gonna... What did he do? He Ice Bladed me. Okay. Makes sense. It makes sense if he's gonna Berserk... With Drampa back there. But we're gonna Aqua Patch. Do that for you. We're just gonna attach to you. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna ha he's gonna try and get a choice band on. That's still only doing 180. I'm fine. I'm gonna ice blade the Drampa just to make sure that I can one shot him in the future, even without a choice band, because I'm not too afraid of the Tapu Leles. And even if I did ice blade one of the Tapu Leles. Then the other one can just come up. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's not that important. 
I just want to make sure I can knock him out. I could have even focused on the Zoroark to make sure I ensure that knockout. Possibly the second turn. How many breaks has he gone through? None. Just this one. Most of these decks run two Zoroark breaks. I run three because I like running three. Um, because Zoroark break is so good. I love Zoroark break. But I think what he wanted to do there... I think what he had to do is get rid of the Rough Seas. I don't know why he chose to do that over Blizzard Edge. I mean, it makes sense because I would just Ice Path it all back onto him. So it does make a little bit of sense, but it just gave me a turn. He's scared of the Ice Path. Everyone who plays this is afraid of the Ice Path. And I love it. I love it so much. So, like, if I can't... If he chooses to attack me and not knock me out here, I could Ice Path. <laughs> I could just Ice Path the damage back. Get the DCE on this backup Alola Ninetales, who is just sitting in the back waiting. And just slowly pick off his Pokemon. So, right here, I see him... The only option he has to knock me out this turn is Kakui, which he has in there. How many BS secrets has he gone through? None. Kakui, Lysand, or something else up. Uh, choice Band on you and DC on you, which you have four cards, so odds are low that you'll be able to do that. And he's not going to be able to do... Link, stop. Yeah, okay. What's he going to choose this time? I think he's going to choose to just Ice Blade again. Link, come here. Hey. I'm going to have to go grab him in a second if he keeps barking. He's got a tough decision here. He's got a really tough decision to try and choose what he wants to do. I think he's got to Ice Blade and just take his medicine. And just allow me to knock out the Zorog break. I think that's what he needs to do. Stop pouting. So 70, so I'll be down to 40. So he needs to do... Hey, what I say? I'm not talking to you. Um, how many water energies have I gone through? Just okay, just one. I. I'm just gonna stick him more here. I don't want to play Remoraid down because I I know I could abyssal hand and hope to hit something. I would have hit a water energy. Mm, I don't want to play that yet. I'm going to Rescue Stretcher and shuffle three Pokemon into play, which is going to be, I guess, those three. I only wanted to grab those two, but we have to get three. Um, hmm. We just knocked out the Zorok break. And that takes away the option of Drampa coming up here. Or if he brings up Drampa, I should be able to knock him out next turn. Or try to, at least. Uh, okay. He still has to knock out three of my Pokemon. Minimal. He has to knock out two Ninetales and one other Pokemon. It could be a GX or not. That's why I like this right now. That's why I don't mind him knocking out a little and Vulpix in the beginning. He's going to bring that guy up. And the reason why I didn't use Field Blower, that choice band didn't matter because I was knocking him out. And if I got rid of his choice band, or his, uh, oh, he didn't even Kakui. If he got rid of, if I got rid of his choice band right here. He's grabbing choice band and DCE to put on the Berserk Drampa. But he doesn't have any damage counters on anything else. His Berserk isn't doing that much. The one rainbow energy he had in play, I think, was on the Zoroark that was in front. Okay. Oh, he field, he did it, he did it. He field blower to get rid of that way that, oh my god, you suck. I mean, you're, that was a great play, but you still suck. Um, okay. I attach to you. I attach that to you. I do this. Get rid of that. I'm probably going to Lysander and grab this Drampa. Because he's not going to be able to knock out my Alolan Ninetales. How many choice bands? Oh, he might be able to. I've gotten rid of two choice bands. Oh my god, that would be brutal if he knocked me out. I'm going to... I can Molo. I can Molo? No, no. I just Lysander. He's not able to Berserk for 150 right now. So I feel safe. I could Molo and Abyssal Hand... But no. 
This is the safe play. Let's see if we can hit the Aqua Patch. That is making it do 80 damage, and you are at 60. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. No, it's whatever. <laughs> that le that leaves in the future. That should be doing 20 short, right? Or 40 short? It's 40 short. Crap. That means that leaves in the future Tapu Koko potentially taking the final knockout with the fl the flying flip or whatever it is. But he's going to struggle to get... Or even I could Ice Blade whatever I want out of there. He needs to hit a Choice Band, Kakui, and Darkness Energy. Bring up Zoroark Break and add a Flow Stone into that. Bring up Zoroark... Well, no, he doesn't need to because he's got Russian. The main reason why I wanted to do that is so in the future I'm able to Flying Flip or Ice Blade for a knockout on this Drampa. I, I don't want this Drampa being around anymore. He's going to rush in here. He's not going to leave him out there unless he knows he has to knock him out somehow. But right now, Drampa's maxing out at 80 damage. 110 with Choice Band. He needs to get damage on his bench right now. Which the only way I'm assuming he does that is by using Rainbow Energies. Because I've not seen a single Team Magma secret base. Okay, he's doing that. That's fine. I don't think there's much of a way he can win this. How many DCEs have I gone through? Two. So there's still two in play. I know one Octillery is prized in there, so there's at least one for sure in play. One might be prized, but there's for sure one in play. And I can then VS Seeker Malo out next turn, and then grab Octillery's Abyssal Hand, and grab whatever I need to grab. But right now, I think I just win. I don't think he can beat me right now. Unless he hits... Like, he needs to hit a Ranguru. He needs to hit a lot of things. A Ranguru to be able to grab more and get extremely lucky. I don't think he can do it. VS Seeker, or he could try trapping, like... No, he can't... L N. Okay, that works too. But I still have Abyssal Hand. And I'm going down to 2, but I have Abyssal Hand. You're going down to 3, and you don't have Abyssal Hand. So I think we're safe to say I've got this one. He's... he's he plays... He takes his sweet time. In a tournament, he would get called out by a judge so quickly. Because <laughs> in this game, you're not even shuffling in other stuff like that. You're not even, like, having to do that. But if you take this long in an actual tournament, your opponent will not be very happy with you. And you, the judge will be called. He put down a Zoro, he's Professor Sycamore. -ing. That's fine. I think we're good. I think we're fine and dandy. I don't think there's any way he can win this now. He would have had to hit into the godliest of freaking things. He's doing 160, but then I could just Ice Blade and grab him. He needs to hit a Choice Band. Yeah, okay. He can't do anything. I just win. I just needed that, eight, that extra Choice Band damage on the Drampa. Oh no. Alright, um... Just Ice Blade Knockout. <laughs> also, Choice Band doesn't affect Bench Pokemon. It's only to active Pokemon. Ninetales was the other prize. So yeah, I had, I had a DCE somewhere in there. So guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. Also, we can take a look at this. We have 40 packs waiting for us for Burning Shadows once it's released. I'm excited. I'm ex I'm so excited for all the supporters that come out in Burning Shadows. But anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Get out of here. <gasps> Get knuckleheads.